very low percentage normally for Method Orange. Let's see if they can keep their steam going, moving for a potential rematch against the Gosu crew later today, where Super Frogs are looking to establish that they can diversify despite their specializations not being in the strongest position, which is really important at the start of a new expansion when all, anything is on the table. You just need to find out what is the best as quickly as possible and master it. We see Sidu getting reversed magic. That's going to be the advantage that Trill has. Cubsy does not have that same luxury. He is currently solar being both members on his team at 50% as momentum swings in favor of Method Orange. Yeah, when you compare the Demon Hunter and the Assassination Rogue, there's a lot of differences between the two specializations. Right now, both Channels and Wealthy Men taking quite a bit of damage. There's a full blind committed on the CD. He's actually going to sit it for now with the Kidney Shot on the Trill. A lot of burst. Trill Trinket's out. Blade Dance is trying to get away. Sidu sits that blind. That might be a mistake. We'll have to see how it works out for him later on. I mean, Trill, he does have the darkness, but no trinket available to really get that out. They get a root beam on Sidu and force his trinket there. There's an opening for Super Frogs with the next blind coming up in two minutes. I mean, I feel like Trill is going to die even before that point. Uh, in 12 more seconds, I think Chanimal can initiate a kill sequence here. Cubsy needs to winch your Sam I am. Chanimal needs to Solar Beam Sea This kidney shot's a bit early. They're trying to capitalize with the Smoke Bomb, but if they had waited for Solar Beam, they could have taken Sea out of the fight. They're trying to continue the chain after the fact, but that huge opportunity. If they were just patient by the matter of five more seconds, I feel like they could have executed a kill. They go for the solar beam, but it looks like Cubsy was either able to stone form or pre-dispel it, so that's unfortunate. That's not going to allow Method Orange a huge opportunity here. They're still trying to capitalize on it with an imprison, but Channel deflects in a good defensive position, posturing with that bark skin, reducing the damage. Now Channel trying to lead the charge. Solar beam kidney shot. Good cross crowd control. Nice interrupt on Sam I am support. This is perfect play by the Super Frogs. They're looking to pull more cooldowns from Method Orange. Just not enough damage, unfortunately. Yeah, Trill using the eye beam, getting into the metamorphosis, and when he's in that, he's going to have very powerful self-healing and a lot of damage for Wealthy Man. He doesn't have the evasion, no Cloak of Shadows, very vulnerable, trades out the feint, Cubsy connects the heals that he needs. Wealthy Man trying to get some pressure on both Sam I Am and Trill, so Channel can sort of pick a target to get on when they finally land that crowd control on Sidu. But so far, it seems like everyone's kind of fine in this situation. Channel trying to gun down for some pressure here. They managed to pull Earthen Wall Totem, which at this point I would say is actually the best cooldown that a Restoration Shaman has. It's probably better than anything else in his arsenal. So now without that, Sidu could be exposed. I think it's likely they go after Trill. They want to deny reverse magic. So you can't use that when you're in a kidney shot or crowd controlled. Wealthy Man will time kidney shot on Trill when Channel times Solar Beam on Sidu to deny the support from the two players. Cubsy then interrupts Sam I Am's utility with Wind Shear or Shadow Step Kick. There's the Solar Beam. There's the kidney shot good execution here by the super frogs that nets them another kill from uh, another cooldown from trill with his trinket no longer available smoke bomb coming up in a minute and 13 seconds super frogs have the same opportunity that they had roughly two and a half minutes ago from now to do it again if they're patient they properly execute it they can erase trill from the game well the next setup i want to see kidney shot trill blind c do that forces out his trinket and then all of a sudden you have no trinket stow that method orange really has to work with except sam i am they can easily take trill down with that. They just need to be patient, like you said, get that set up, and I think it's going to force Sidu's hand to have to trinket out of that blind. All right, Earthen Wall Totem forced again before the Solar Beam, before the Vendetta. That's a very powerful cooldown. Now Channel sees that. It's like, okay, there's no reason to attack. Let's just Cyclone, stop some damage, help Cubsy's mana, wait for Earthen Wall Totem to fade, then move for the kill. Trill still with no trinket. Vendetta's available. Incarn's available. Channel and Wealthy Man have a ton of damage right now, but Cubsy gets swapped to as Method Orange try and pull off a miracle kill after Cubsy. They managed to pull his trinket at least, showing signs of life with spread pressure on multiple targets. Unfortunately, still with no trinket. Super Frogs play this patient. They've got Solar Beam. Sam I Am's gonna pull the trigger first, getting Cubsy locked down. And sometimes offense is the best defense if they can put them on the back foot. They may, they may never be able to punch back. Channel desperately trying to run away. There's the Solar Beam, there's the Kidney Shot. Vendetta gets committed. It's all or nothing. Cedar Trinkets connects the Spirit Link one second before that moment happened. But now there's no trigger for Blind. They still follow the chain with the Cyclone. Trill tr in desperation to escape to safety. Hangs on by a thread. Yeah, the only thing that's going to keep Trill alive is a pre-Earthen Shield Totem from c -Duke. Next kidney shot, Trill will not have a trinket available. This is very scary for Method Orange. c is going to have to top him off and play like a god because he will get caught into a full blind very, very shortly. There's a kidney shot on Trill. c dropping out the Earthen Shield Totem. Nicely done, and that buys Trill enough time to get his trinket back up. He has the darkness, and now he's going to be stable and safe for quite some time.
Yep, on this next blind, but I, they could almost switch to Seedu. That might be a, a better option to catch him off guard. But in the meantime, it's actually Wealthy Man falling behind as Trill takes this game into his own hands. Good crowd control chain by Method Orange. Finally punching back, making this game look a lot less one-sided now as we move into dampening. They're still battling it out. Wealthy Man caught in roots. Channel running for his life, actually, at the moment. He used a solar beam there, but didn't actually get too much out of it. And the Super Frogs are starting to croak a bit here, moving into the late game. Comes to getting crowd controlled. Wealthy Man in trouble. Trades evasion of 5%, but Sam can attack through that. Comes to doing everything he can. He's actually being very greedy. There's the Earthen Wall. Wealthy Man actually leaving the safety of that Earthen Wall, getting cycloned at low health, and things are starting to fall apart for the frogs. Yeah, they really don't have much. Cubsy has the trinket and the spirit link. That is a very powerful defensive to keep them alive. But here it is, full blind on Sidu. Sam I am into the kidney shot. Trill saving his life with the darkness there. Nicely done. Now Wealthy Man is the one that's under fire. If they get CC on Cubsy, this is very dangerous. Wealthy Man, no vanish, no cloak of shadows, no evasion, no nothing. Channel is realizing his teammates in trouble, throwing out a cyclone on the Sam I am to slow him down just a little bit, but it's 7% dampening. This game's just gonna get more and more unstable for both teams. Yeah, Wealthy Man in trouble here as Cubsy's locked down. He trinkets out a solar beam. Tries to interrupt the follow-up. Trill getting a kidney shot, but now with triple trinket on Method Orange's side, there's no openings. Super Frogs need at least another two minutes to work through those cooldowns, but they're on the clock. Dampening stacking up. They're losing out on mana. They're losing out on cooldowns, and despite Super Frog's momentum in early and mid game, in the late game, Method Orange are kings. I'm not sure how much longer can Cubsy can keep this going, but it's all on his shoulders. Yeah, Wealthy Man, very vulnerable on that assassination rogue. Shadow Step, kidney shot over onto Trill. Are they going to be able to pull anything out from this? Doesn't look like it. Uh, Sidu not, not having to use anything. Trill not having to use anything either. There's a full root beam on Sidu. Big swap now onto Cubsy, though. He uses the Astral Shift. Very powerful defensive. I like that setup coming in from Method Orange. A bit of a strategy change. But in the meantime, Super Frogs, they're looking to get aggressive on Sam I Am with a nice full cyclone onto Sidu. Channel is going to freeze up Sam I Am's HP on that Barksy, and I think that's good. He has his incarnation up. There's no reason to really mess with him at this point. They're switching targets now to Trill, trying to keep Sidu on his toes. But Sam I Am has incarnation. Wealthy Man needs to be careful. He can't afford to be greedy in this position. If he gets stunned with no trinket, his health will just disappear. He's still playing it out greedy. Now the incarnation has faded. The threat is gone. Cubsy gets swapped to. Sam I Am dunking him. Tons of damage. Cubsy trying to duck around the corner. Wealthy Man peels for him. Good teamwork. Sam I am still under fire. Nice cyclone by Channel. He's got incarnation going. He's trying to build a lot of momentum, but this incarnation from Channel isn't getting the most done, and it really wasn't properly set up. It's a lot of damage, but they they haven't locked Sidu down. He can just easily heal through this with Ascendance and Innervate. Now that incarnation for Channel, he may not see it again before this game ends. Well, blind on Sidu, he trinkets out. Sam I am getting lower and lower. Wealthy Man in the meantime getting trying to get counter pressure away by Trill. He wants to force Wealthy Man off of Sam I am. So you forced to drop out the spirit link as he gets caught in the capstone. In the meantime, Wealthy Man, he has Cloak of Shadows and Evasion. If he uses both of those together, he's basically immune to damage at that point. At 20% dampening, he wants to try to hold on to those cooldowns as long as he can so he can continue to feel safe getting aggressive on CD or Sam I am as the game progresses. Cubsy locked down, Channel on the run. Is he going to throw the game? He's got defensives. He just needs to trade. He's being really greedy. Bark's getting on 10%. This is so greedy by Channel. Super Frogs are hanging on. No, the greed is going to cost them game one. Oh, man. And coming out of this one, the first thing that we do have to ask, was that correct? Nailed down for it. And even with Assassination, which is a bit easier to pick up, I still think it's not the case that you can just walk in on this and beat Method Orange, who are obviously well, well practiced on this. You're absolutely right. Every Rogue Mage player is just the best players in this game. Uh, I will say, though, <laughs> I, I think I think it's not a... Uh, I, I almost got through. But I do think that Chun-Li has been able to pick up this spec. I think he has been able to play it well. It just goes a step further. Have they been able to find the synergy? We're going to find out here. If not, Super Frogs are going to find themselves in a dire situation. Method Orange will be on match point. That's a full blind sap on Sidu, and Sam I am only trades out his bark skin and gets interrupted. Bash on Sidu. Cubsy looking for the DR Cyclone. So you might have to trade out a trinket link here, but no, Sam, I'm just going to deflect it with the renewal. And uh, Moonkin form heal will be enough to keep him alive. Now caught into a kidney shot once again. Super Frogs with good pressure early on, but Sidu saving every single defensive he has. That was one of the most well-coordinated assaults we've seen from a team at the start of that game, and it got them 
really nowhere. So <laughs> they played extremely well in this composition and executed that situation perfectly and didn't go anywhere. If that doesn't tell you that this composition isn't in a good position to take this, I don't know what else will. Obviously, they can play for a later game into dampening. They're still getting decent crowd control on Sidu at the moment, trying to gun down Sam I am. But Sidu has the grounding totem. He has descendants. He can trade these out to recover. He's being a bit greedy, but not ultimately going to cost him anything too much so far. Cubsy getting stun locked by Trill. They've been making constant swaps to Cubsy. He had to trade a lot early on. Trill's just going after him. Yeah, well, Cubsy with the Cyclones is just so powerful and effective at shutting down and helping assist his team and getting kills onto Sam I Am. So if Trill just pressures him down, Sam I Am throws out some damage onto him as well. They can prevent him from feeling confident and safe to get aggressive. One thing I want to talk about as well is Wealthy Man, once again, isn't using the triple frigid grass with the ice form. If he had that in the opener, Sam I Am would have just been deleted out of the game immediately. It's just so much bonus damage, and I, I can't... How, like, I just don't know why he's not using it. It's just such a strong trade. It feels like they're really missing out. He's playing a sustained late game build against what might be considered the best sustained late game comp that Method Orange are playing. So they're playing to the strengths of their opponents. They just can't match them in that regard. And that is a really good point that Samayam was on 10% in that start of the fight. If, if they had that, Ice Form and Frigid Grasp, they may have forced at least trinkets from multiple members and maybe even a kill early on. So I don't think the Super Frogs are playing to the strengths of this matchup in particular, and it looks more so to be the case that Method Orange are likely to take this series. Cubsy in trouble, trying to get away from Trill. Sam I Am caught into another stun. Good polymorph on Sidu. Trill is far away. He's trying to get his way back to Sam I Am, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Wealthy Man has committed Icy Veins and not got anything done. Nice crowd control here by Method Orange. Chun-Li is just going to get crunched. 2-0 lead. Match point. This composition swap was a throw. It, it did not necessarily will be there. But yeah, keep your eyes on Chanimal. He's going to try to be building up that insanity to keep himself nice and safe throughout this match. Try to be as tanky as Sam I Am was. Will Method Orange be able to work through this composition that's already been giving him a little bit of trouble today? Definitely have to see. This is not the worst start for Method Orange, though. Triple stun coming in. Good pressure on Wealthy Man and Chanimals. Wealthy Man already trading out his Cloak of Shadow. Stun onto Cubsy into the Mana Rift. A big setup coming here from Method Orange. But Sidu could be in some trouble. Gets Kidney Shot into the Silence. But ultimately going to be able to deflect it with that Earthen Wall Totem. They're actually playing reverse magic this game. They saw that the kill window against Sidu against the Gosu crew was the stun into silence. So Trill can play reverse magic and remove the silence. And that's just enough break in the crowd control chain for Sidu to easily recover. It's a nice adaptation by the team of Method Orange, as it is likely that they will just be running at Sidu most of this game. Vendetta has been committed. Sidu trades one for one with that Astral Shift. So far, so good for Method Orange. Yeah, not bad for Method Orange at all. Super Frogs, they're they're doing the right strat at running at Sidu, but they're missing the very important part of the strategy we saw from the Gosu crew where they're making sure Sam I Am is pressured down. That way they have multiple pressure points in the matchup. If Sidu can just run around a Ghost Wolf, he has Earth Shield on himself, it's going to be much less scary for Method Orange. Good setup here on Wealthy Man. He doesn't have Cloak of Shadows. Could be dangerous, but it doesn't seem like he cares. He's just going to be training Sidu. They're on match point. Tournament lives on the line. They're trying to go all in. This is a risky decision by the team of the Super Frogs. Cubsy trying to reset. Well, this man just running out of that earthen wall toad. If he just does not care if he goes down, he's taking Sidu with him. <laughs> I don't know if he is. CD looking pretty healthy right now. Earthen Wall Totem available. He has a Trinket. He has a Spirit Link. Trill has Darkness. Lots available for CD to stay alive, but Wealthy Man putting out good pressure. Doesn't want to overextend, though. Needs to make sure he's in line a set of Cubsy to get those Riptides, get topped off before he goes on his CD Assault once again. All right. At this point, Cubsy's doing decent on mana. Channel's been getting quite a lot of offensive pressure as well. I still would like to see some split damage on Trill a bit. Try and rot the team, makes you have to come back. There's a the silence, Trill jumps over. Reverse magic's it with only one second left. I feel like that wasn't very value reverse magic there by Trill. And silence is a slightly lower cooldown, so now they won't have that option for the next kidney shot, which is also likely to have Vendetta with it. I think this reverse magic from Trill was a mistake and could actually cost Method Orange the game here moving forward. Kidney shot on Sidu, good pressure. Cubsy gets caught to the root beam though. Sam I am a Trill looking to get aggressive on a channel, forced into the dispersion. I just think Super Frogs, they're playing this so hyper aggressive on Sidu. I mean, it could work out, but when we saw the Ghostu crew execute this strategy, Oops. they made sure they had multiple pressure points. I, I was going to say that that reverse magic was a mistake by Trill, and then Chanimal did a one second silence. That mistake doesn't matter anymore. Chanimal under fire. 
Trying to burst him down as it looks like the Super Frogs make a swap as well to Sam I am. Trying to at least catch c -Doo slightly off guard, realizing that tuddling him down isn't really working. He's likely to be the kill target, but before dampening, he's going to be quite durable, and Ultimate's really risking his life to constantly go after him. There's good damage on Sam I am. Chan will creating a lot of pressure on multiple targets. Good reverse magic there. Our c -Doo connects Earthen Wall, although before Vendetta, that was a bit of a, pre a preemptive play by Sidu. Multiman now has a lot of damage he can commit. Sidu needs to be ready. Yeah, double fear from Chanimals. They're looking to set up on the Sidu. Mana Rift on Cubsy once again. Cubsy's running out of time in, in terms of his mana. Now full root beam. Chanimals trinkets out of the stun. He wants to get aggressive, but he's gotten to another one. Cyclone over on to Cubsy from Sam. I am. Chanimals taking a lot of bursts. There's an imprisonment from Trill continuing the chain. Cubsy trinkets out. Chanimal no trinket. Cubsy no trinket. Chanimal doesn't have dispersion either, but in the meantime, Sidu could be in some trouble. The kidney shot into silence. Trill drops the darkness to shut down this kill attempt from Super Frogs, but they're slowly getting Sidu down. Yeah, still, it's match point. We're not in dampening. Super Frogs need to survive for maybe another two minutes with this strategy, maybe even longer than that, maybe two or four minutes. But they're the ones just inevitably falling behind. Method Orange always make good trades outside of the occasional reverse magic from Trill, which now he can back up with Darkness. They haven't really been making any errors, so the Super Frogs are playing all in, and eventually they're going to get caught off guard. Multiman is overextended. Cubsy moves in to try and support. Will it be enough as a question? Reverse magic on the silence. Chanimal can't support. He gets cloned by Sam I am. Multiman's dipping low. Cubsy gets solar beamed. Perfect execution by Method Orange. Multiman is barely hanging on. Chanimal swaps his health to stay in the fight just a bit longer, but then Sam I am switches his attention to Chanimal. Clones him at low health. Cubsy stuck between a rock and a hard place, trying to recover, but it looks like the Super Frogs are starting to make their way back into this fight, still continuing to gun down c -Doo. Yeah, but when they're all targeting down c they get caught behind the box, and that's where Trill can really get out a lot of significant damage. You can see, uh, luckily for, you know, Super Frogs, the Earthen Wall Totem will be enough to deflect, but Chanimal's taking a lot of pressure as well. He gets interrupted. Kidney shot on Trill. Looks like Super Frogs is trying to get something else done here. Trill has his trinket. He has his blur. He doesn't want to use it too late. Gets out of the stun, uses the blur. That's going to prevent a lot of incoming damage. Sidu finally getting off some heals, tops off his team. And now Wealthy Man once again turning his attention over on the Sidu. I like what Method Orange are doing here. They're just hitting multiple targets and trying to keep Cubsy on his toes. Attacking the non earth shield target, also a good priority with Cubsy being out of mana. This is some good adaptations by Method Orange strategically against this composition to which they got annihilated by versing the Gosu crew. So this is a good stepping stone for Method Orange to move to the finals. They've secured a, a clear window for kill but shadow priests are very durable so shanimal's just hanging on at five percent he's actually gonna make it out alive that crowd control chain was purring but he's gonna make it out alive now some counter pressure on trill as super frogs try to keep their tournament dreams alive yeah cedar shuts it down though with the earthen wall totem he's gonna be fine and metamorphosis looking for a little bit of pressure on the wealthy man wealthy man has no evasion but he still has a cloak of shadows kidney shot now on sam i am cedar has his trinket He's in a good position to just spam out heals at 8%, dampening things start to get unstable for both teams. Cubsy almost completely tapped on mana, though. Sam I am trying to drag Wealthy Man out of position, away from Cubsy, so then get out damage and avoid some of the incoming heals. See, he wants to catch up his team's HP, popping the Ascendants, very powerful cooldown. It's out multiple heals on his team, and it uh, looks like Method Orange is stable as they look to get aggressive on a Wealthy Man. Ooh, Cloak of Shadow is forced from Wealthy Man, and this is what happens in dampening. You use your defensives during windows that you otherwise wouldn't. He would like to cloak of shadows when Sam I'm uses incarnation, but he had to trade it before it. And Sam I'm sees that opening, pulls the trigger, tons of damage. Wealthy Man on the run as they gun down for the kill. Cubsy needs to be the one to allow Wealthy Man to Trill cover. Though. He's trying to be greedy. Trill overextended as well. No reverse magic. C2 has to trinket. Suddenly the Super Frogs pull off a moment that should have been their defeat and find an opportunity to swing momentum in their favor. Wealthy Man's still on the back foot though. C2 gets psychic screamed away. Pressure on Sam I am. Both teams are actually keeping this fight going for quite some time, but with dampening ramping up, Cubsy's mana completely invisible <laughs> on the bar. Can't I, see it at all. I don't know how much longer the Super Frogs can keep this up. Chanimals does have the dispersion kidney shot now on Trill. He has his trinket, he has reverse, he has blur. Doesn't want to wait too long. Trinket blur. 
trying to avoid some damage with the Blade Dance as well. Silence gets reversed over on a channel. Cyclone on Wealthy Man. Sam I am looking to CC up the enemy team so they can get aggressive. Another stun into Mana Burn or Mana Rift on the Cutsy. Now he has literally no mana to work with. Wealthy Man barely going to be able to survive here potentially. Ooh, Triple ooh. Chaos Nova coming in. Method Orange looking to close out this game and close out this series. Full Cyclone on Cutsy. He trinkets out. He still has the Spirit Link. So one last line of defense here for Super Frogs. But if his whole There's team the line. Low health, blind, no trigger. Sam I am needs no to be way. He fake cast the wind shear. Sam I am fake cast no the wind way. Cubsy grounds the clone. Drill sneaks in darkness just in the nick of time to survive. And now Wealthy Man on the back foot gets cloned at low health. Cubsy still has Spirit Link, but with all three members low on health, that cooldown doesn't do too much. They swap over to Cubsy, catching him in the stun. No trigger available on 1%. He barely hangs on. He's got no mana. He's got no health. How much longer can the Super Frogs do this? They can't. They fall. Method Orange get a second chance in the grand finals. Method Orange will get the rematch and ultimately the Super Frogs put up a really good fight feed versus the fake Zebras were all tied up one and one who is going to find themselves on match point who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament keep in mind folks we're doing a brand new thing you have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth